Welcome back to GTA 5 Summer in Los Santos continues. Last time we built the What in the world? Last time we built this thing. My Corvette C8, an incredible car that is super, super slow, but super, super cool. You guys decided that we would be coming over to Benny's and we would be purchasing the Yosemite, the truck. You might think you've seen this truck before, but I promise this is one of GTA 5's most customizable vehicles in the entire game. Anyways, if you guys have any other cars that you do want me to check out as a part of the new update, we've still got the F1 car, the Indy car, this orange thing. I, I think you can see what... I wanted to do to this thing today. 485,000. Let's go. What are you guys doing to my Corvette? This thing might look kind of familiar to you guys because I actually used it not that long ago in the last update for GTA Online with the drift truck. As you might be able to tell as well, this one actually already has air suspension. Check out this. So I stop moving. How sick is that? We are going to take this thing over to Benny's and we are going to turn it into a beast. How are you doing, my dude? It has been such a long time since we've been here. There's all your usual stuff in Benny's to turn this into basically whatever you want. You could turn this into a drift truck if you really wanted to. I wanted to turn this into the Yosemite Rancher. I spend 460,000. Confirm the price. And there we go, boys. We're now a lifted up Yosemite on massive all-terrain tires. And we've gone from a muscle car all the way to an off-road car now. My game plan for this truck is I want to turn it into the ultimate GTA Online off-roader. Off the top of my head, I don't know what other off-road cars you can take to Benny's, but I think this one's going to have some pretty cool customization for us to mess around with, as you might be able to tell. I kind of like the idea of this with two little rally lights down the bottom. Yo, these are some proper, like, heavy-duty off-road bumpers those look dope i love this with the four holes that's almost like very rocket bunny in style rear bumper what do we want to do with this we could delete the bumper entirely chrome stuff off-road bumpers i like it we are gonna spend so much money on this thing chassis skid plate time all the way down at the bottom there what do I want to do? Can I just have like a huge skid plate on here if I'm off-roading? I think I'm going to go with this skid plate. I'm, I'm not really sure where I'm going with this. Oh, okay. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Light bar on the roof. Haven't looked into this just yet, so I don't know how far we can push it. What is that? Is that Why is that like a front wing? It's a hood deflector. I don't really know. That's so sick. I don't know if I'm the only person who sees that and thinks like of a Land Rover Defender for some reason. 11 grand for that. Roll cage? What do I want to do back here? Something really, really cool? Oh, full web cage? That's sick. This truck is on another level of customization in this game. I kind of like the spare tire in the back. That's kind of unique, I feel. Engine, engine block. Oh, man. Big old V8. Can we get, like, a red engine? I feel like that'd be quite good. Painted? Sure. I guess we'll go with that. Air filter. We can upgrade that as well. Damn, son. We'll go with that. That looks sick. This is gonna get so expensive so quickly. Exhaust. We can go with, like, side pipes. That's mean. Titanium. Or the matte black. That's even cooler. That's like stealth. I like that. I like the stealth. Stealth's good. Fender flares. Can I get something cool here? I kind of like that wide body look that I've got stock. So I'm kind of inclined to not do anything there. Little street flares. Sure. We'll go with that. Grill. What can we do in here? Can we like take it out? Can we like open up the front of this truck a little bit? Apparently that's not an option. So I will instead go with primary mesh grill. Sure. We can have a rusty old hood, a carbon fiber hood, a hood vent. That's just a whole cut. Okay. This is full on Land Rover Defender stuff. That's sick. Twitch chat is all yelling at me saying they want the biggest blower ever. Okay. Well, if we do that, we'll go with this one because they open and close when I press the throttle. So 
We'll go with that, I guess. Interior. What, what do we want to do with this? Honestly, though, I, I don't think it's really worth it. Like, 16 grand. As much as I would want to go in and mess around with this stuff, it's just... It's not worth it. Maybe I'll do something big, like change the seats up. That could be cool. Lightweight race seats. They've got those same circles to match our skid plate and our front bumper. I like that. Let's do it. Here we go, boys. Open it up. And this is where things just get so, so crazy. I kind of like the idea of a tube door, if I'm honest. Like, open the truck straight up and build something that's just completely insane that you don't see. I like these ones. Roll cage. Do I want a roll cage in there? The amount of options. Sure. Let's do it. Why not? Why not? We're going full pre-runner. We will go full pre-runner. Oh, no way. That's not a roof. What? That's a bed cover soft top. It's legit a Ford Bronco, this thing. It's gone from an F-150 to a Bronco. A lot of people are now saying I need to remove the blower. I kind of agree with you. We can have a snorkel on this thing. Why not? Why not at this point? We've spent enough money. We might as well just keep going. Uh, sun strips. We will definitely go for a sun strip. Thank you. Tailgate. What do we want to... Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't even think of doing that. If I'm honest, it's a little bit too much to change the tailgate. Like, you don't see that on real life pickup trucks. I'm sorry. People just don't do that. I think I'll keep that stock, actually. So let's go with a turbo on there as well. The windows. I don't have any windows anymore. <laughs> And we're done. There we go. Okay. After all of that, there are a couple of changes I want to make. This hood is ridiculous. It's got to go. I'm sorry. We're going to go with this one. This looks amazing. Let me give this thing a nice little paint job and we should be all done. Do, do I want any special livery on this thing? Yo, that fits really well. This truck has some very, very cool options. Okay. I'm about to pay $38,000 in this game. To put other people's stickers on my truck. I, I guess we'll do it. Ford Bronco. We are finished. That was literally half an hour of customizing. Just when I thought I had a big truck. What in the world? I leave you guys for two seconds. And that's what you do? What differences we've done out here? That's so cool. DJ says, how dare you say Ford? It's a Chevy C10 turned into a Blazer. De Classy, the Yosemite, right? It's the same car they use as Ken Block's car as the as the Hoonick truck, right? Which would mean De Classy's Ford. If De Classy's Ford and a Yosemite is a Ford F-150, then this is a Ford F-150. Let's load up a race. We'll see what we've got. About an hour later, we are finally in a race in our $2 million car. Unfortunately, it's one of like the Rockstar pre-built ones. So I have no idea what it is. I don't know if it's any good. I don't even know if it's off-road. But we're going to give it a go. I started in last. I was in P20. Already making my way through the pack. And we will see if this thing is any good. I've got, I've got to get away from the chaos. The chaos is ridiculous right now. There we go. Up to P6. Watch out for the lamppost. Nice bounce. Still in P6. Definitely not as comfortable off-road as I thought it would be. I thought it would be eating up the bounces very pre-runner style, like I was saying, but it's almost bouncy on its wheels, which isn't a good thing. It almost just makes the truck feel kind of floppy and very, very difficult to drive. We're in P9, though, out of 24 people. So we're not doing that bad. Oh, don't snap. Good save, good save, good save. Up to P6. Oh, drag racing. The other one. Yo, we got the speed, bud. Yo, we got major speed. P6, can I make some positions up? This is a three-lap race. I've got plenty of time. Back on to Trevor's airfield. And there is P5 in front of me. Oh, maybe we can. Maybe we can if we put some pressure. Yeah, P4 is 10 seconds up the road. I'm gonna need to drive. Very well if I'm gonna want to catch that up. This truck is so cool. I love no doors. I love no roof. It's just It's so open. It's so cool. Somebody missed the checkpoint Somebody missed No way I can get p4 Wait, that's not even p4. I just lapped the guy. What now that I was able to use my very expensive truck I can tell you that it was actually very 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 fun to drive. Please tell me you're not 
somebody explain how that just happened. I think what we've just realized is the Yosemite is terribly slow. Are you kidding me, GTA? Why am I starting last place in every single race that we've been doing in this new update? Like, this is this is becoming a bit of a jo- Oh, my God. And I missed the boosted start. Well, P16, we're starting in. Let's see how high up through the ranks we can really get. I don't know how long this race is. I know it's a point-to-point -point race. So I've just got to push as soon as I can and do not make mistakes because I may not necessarily be able to recover from it. Come on. Up to P10. We are flying. Yo, this is some high speed like desert running right here. This is sick. On the brakes hard. People are going to crash into that wall on the outside. Nobody did. Are you for real? Another one? Nobody is crashing this race. Everybody is driving picture perfect. A lot of people are crashing up here. There we go. There's some people out, out of the race up to P7. This is a solid race though. <gasps> Someone else is gone. Someone spun it. There we go. Nice little overtake up to P7. Fire's already done the race. Finish line. No, no, short line. Come on. Yo, the biker. Oh, I thought the biker was gonna miss the line. Oh, that was sick though. DJ got on the podium in the Yosemite. That's that's not bad. Honestly, I think after all of this, the conclusion's probably pretty similar to the Corvette C8 that we did yesterday. Yosemite Rancher, amazing truck. Super, super cool. Love all the customization that you can do to it, but I, I think at the end of the day, just another truck that's just not fast enough. Let me know what car we should do next in GTA Online in the comments down below. And with that, that is the GTA 5 Yosemite Rancher. Awesome truck! Maybe not the fastest thing, though.